Let's see how uh, we can derive the zero order integrated light rate law uh, just from a, a reaction and writing a uh, regular rate law for that. So let's just take a generic uh, reaction here. We're going to say that um, R turns into P, so reactants turn into products. Uh, if we write a rate law for that, we're going to get rate equals K times concentration of reactants raised to some zero power. Uh, so since we have the zero power there, we know that this uh, is going to turn into one. And so what we really end up with here is rate equals K, uh, rate equals K, because we have times one. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, and see what that looks like as a differential. So we can rewrite our rate, and I'm going to move over here. Uh, so we're going to say that uh, the change and the concentration of the reactant with respect to time Oops. don't need those brackets there dt and this is going to be negative since reactants are disappearing uh, is equal to uh, k so we just have the k there so we have our uh, we have our rate is equal to k and so uh, we want to put our differentials on opposite sides, and I'm going to move the negative sign over to the other side. So I have uh, dr is equal to negative k dt. So now I'm going to integrate uh, both sides from uh, time equals 0 to time equals t. So I get integral from 0 to t dr is equal to the integral negative k dt. Now, since negative k is a constant, I can bring that outside of the integral sign there. And so that gives me integral from 0 to t dr is equal to negative k integral of dt. And those all go from 0 to t as well. move up here and so if we go ahead and integrate that uh, we're going to get concentration of R evaluated from 0 to T is equal to negative K times uh, T evaluated from 0 to T and so this becomes concentration of R times T minus concentration of R times 0 is equal to negative K times T at time T, which is T, minus T at time 0, which is 0. So it just becomes negative KT. And so we have concentration of R at time T minus concentration of R times 0 is equal to negative KT. Or if we put that into a linear form, we get concentration of R at time t is equal to negative kt plus concentration of r at time 0. Now, the reason we might want to put that into a, uh, an integrated form uh, is because, uh, or a linear form, rather, uh, is because then we can graph it. And you can see this has the general form of y is equal to uh, mx plus b. So t becomes our variable on the uh, x-axis, uh, negative k becomes our slope, and r0 becomes our y-intercept. All right, now let's take a look at a first-order uh, integrated rate law and see, uh, see where that comes from. So we'll derive that. So once again, we're going to have uh, our reaction of reactants turning into products. And if we write a first order rate law for that, it's going to be rate equals K times concentration of R. And it's just raised to the one, which a lot of times we don't write. Uh, we don't write that run, that one. So if we write this as um, in a differential form, um, our rate becomes negative D times concentration of R. So negative change in concentration of R over a change in time. 
and that's going to be equal to uh, K times concentration of R. So let's get uh, like terms together and get our differentials on opposite sides. And so we're going to multiply by DT on both sides and divide by R. Um, and I'm also going to move the negative sign over, so that gives us change in R over R is equal to negative K DT. These are lowercase k's. Okay, so now we're going to uh, integrate both sides uh, from time zero to time t. And so it's going to give us the integral from zero to t. And we're going to separate our uh, left-hand side to one over concentration of r times dr. That's going to be equal to negative k. We saw on the earlier video that we can take that constant out. So negative k times the integral from 0 to t of dt. And from here, we need to know what's the integral of 1 over r dr or 1 over x dx. So we can look that up, and we see that we have the integral of 1 over x dx is equal to the natural log of x. And so 1 over concentration of r dr is going to be the natural log of r. And then we'll evaluate it from 0 to t. So we'll go um, natural log of r evaluated from 0 to t is equal to negative k times t evaluated from 0 to t. this up here. And so we'll get natural log concentration of R at time T minus natural log of R times zero is equal to negative K. And we saw that that already evaluates to negative KT. So that's your integrated uh, rate form uh, for, uh, for your first order rate law. Uh, we can rewrite that uh, again in a linear form where we have natural log r time t is equal to negative kt plus natural log concentration of r at time zero. And again that gives us a y is equal to mx plus b type format uh, for our integrated rate law. So let's see how we can reach uh, our integrated form of a second order rate law. So uh, just like before, we're going to have a reaction that has reactants turning into products. And we can write a general rate law for that. We have rate is equal to k times concentration of our reactants squared. Okay, so uh, we can break that down here as a differential, and so our rate is going to be uh, negative D concentration of R over DT, so change in concentration of R over T uh, is equal to, and then we still have K times R squared. Okay, and so now we can uh, separate our terms again, put our concentrations on the same side, move the negative to the other side, and put our differentials on opposite sides. So that gives us uh, dr over r squared is equal to negative kt. Sorry, not kt, kdt. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to integrate this, and when we put this into an integrated form, uh, we're going to have the integral, and I'm going to move out the, uh, the dr, and so we're going to go from 0 to t again. So this is going to be 1 over concentration of r squared uh, times dr is equal to 
negative k integral from 0 to t dt. So this one's a little bit more complex because we have that 1 over uh, r squared, and that square of the r uh, means we need to handle this one just a little bit differently mathematically. Uh, but the rule that we can use here is that the integral of x to the n dx is equal to x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. And for our equation, we have uh, this 1 over r squared. And since it's 1 over r squared, that's really r to the minus 2. Okay, Or our exponent n is really minus 2. And so uh, what we can do then is we can say that this is now equal to uh, x to the minus 2 plus 1 over minus 2 plus 1. So this becomes x to the minus 1 over minus 1. And when we simplify that out, it becomes negative 1 over x. So we can do that uh, for our 1 over r squared. So we get a uh, negative 1 over concentration of r evaluated from 0 to time t is going to be equal to negative k t evaluated from 0 to t. Okay, so we're going to move this up here again to continue it. And so when we evaluate uh, negative 1 over r from 0 to t, we get negative 1 over r at time t minus a negative 1 over r at time 0. And that's equal to negative k t. And we've seen how that t uh, comes about, so I didn't see a reason to do that one uh, one more time. We see we've got these two negatives uh, right in here. So those can become a plus, and so that gives us negative 1 over r t plus 1 over r0 is equal to negative kt. Uh, we can do a little bit of rearranging here with our negative signs and putting it into a linear form. And what we end up with is 1 over concentration of r time t is equal to kt minus, sorry, plus 1 over concentration of r0. So that becomes our uh, integrated form. Again, we have that y is equal to mx plus b uh, format for our second order rate law there. Um, if you're not sure how I got from here down to here, uh, make sure uh, you come see me. It's a fairly easy step. Um, mathematically, it's just a little bit of algebraic manipulation, but if you didn't follow it, uh, come up and see me and we'll go through it in just a little bit more detail.